Zamboy and Guisa has had his max upgrade from 84 to 87. We're going to play a few games of foot champ to see if this card's worth getting in your team. So a quick rundown of the card. Obviously cost me 72k, not bad for an 87 CDM. Six foot tall, medium low work rate, three star, three star, he's right footed as well. Now we can only play CDM or centre mid, so not too many alternate positions. Now this card can be made lengthy with three chemistry style. With either the anchor, architect or the marksman, this card is made lengthy. Now, like I said, I probably will change. I've kept the anchor on him. Obviously that makes him lengthy in game. Obviously the only problem I feel like we're going to have with this card is trying to link him in. Obviously he's from Cameroon. Plays for Napoli. Napoli have got a few nice cards like Inform Lozano. Obviously had the player of the month, centre back, if you've done him. But if not, there's very, very limited cards after that. But as you can see, pace-wise, very good. Shooting's got decent as well. Decent shot power and long shots. His passing's good, 90 short pass and long pass, just the curve that lets him down. Obviously, dribbling-wise as well, good ball control and agility. And then defensively and physically, this is where the guy is an absolute beast. High interceptions, high strength as well. Obviously, with the anchor, maxes that out more or less. Good stamina and strength. Good player traits as well, flair and technical dribbler. So, we're going to play a few games with Zambo and Guisa and the Lion. Quite smooth, quite responsive since his upgrade. Great ball that wide. Zambo and Guisa, all unlucky. Smooth in game though, as you can see. Great pass over the top from Zambo. and Guisa again, driving from midfield, unlucky not to score. What a ball from Zambo. Oh, that's a great save again, you see how smooth he is in game, you see how good this card is now. Picks him out in the box as well. Oh, he finishes as well. Great play, drive and run, and a finish as well. Under pressure. Look at the strength to hold off Fred as well. And Zambo in the right position to win the ball back. Nice switcher play as well. Zambo coming in with the interception. Zambo coming in with the tackle. Zambo with the driving run. I'm lucky not to get the shot away. Zambo getting back in, winning that ball. Zambo coming in with a header. Oh, Zambo in Guisa, there we go. Can't give him too much space outside the box. Zambo coming in with the tackle once again. The guy is a beast in this midfield position. Looks like a great ball over the top as well. Final verdict on Zambo and Guisa. Now, I've really, really enjoyed using the card. Now, even though he's medium low, if you can get him on the ball, you know, he's very smooth in game, very silky for someone of his height and strength. You know, like I said, he's a very, very good card to have. Obviously, some players that are six foot tall, it's not the tallest, but they can be a little bit clunky in game. This guy's really smooth. His ball control is really good. So when you are doing step overs and turning with him, you know, really, really good to use in game. Very nice pace as well. The anchor chemistry style is probably the best chemistry style for him. I'm not going to lie. It boosts his pace up, defensive and physical. All the stats you're going to want from probably your holding midfielder. I feel like holding midfielder is probably his best position. Obviously, he doesn't move too far forward. He doesn't move like chases people back either. So to be honest with you, like I said, I quite like players that are medium, medium defensively, especially you need a mixture of medium high and medium, medium, just because then you've got this sandbone and Guiso. He can just sit in front of the back four. He's not going to push forward. So you don't really need to worry about that. You've always got that guy in front of the centre backs just to help out. Now, passing wise as well, he's got some really nice passing. The only thing that lets him down is a curve. So in tight situations, because that curve is low, he's not always going to be able to make them nice short passes. Like I said, dribbling wise, agility, ball control, you know, we don't need to talk too much. As you see in game, very smooth. Obviously, he scored a few outside the foot shots, but everyone can score them goals. So I don't like to talk about them too much. 
Defensively, like I said, because of the high interceptions, puts his defensive eye really, really good in game. And physically as well. If you go shoulder to shoulder with this guy, you know, he's taking the ball off of you and running away with it. So, like I said, really, really good card to use. If I'm going to give him a rating out of 10, it's going to be a 9. Obviously, he's 3 star, 3 star. Again, you mainly need to use him on that right foot. Obviously, his nation isn't great to link in either. Obviously, he's Cameroon. So, unless you've got someone like Samueto or any icon heroes, you're not really going to be able to get this guy in on max chemistry. Obviously, you do have Inform Lozano. There is the centre-back, I don't know his name, that was player of the month for Napoli. Obviously, he's gone now. So, if you didn't do that card, again, that's another less link. So, like I said, it's just the links to try and get this card in on, on Max Chemistry. But, if you can get this card in on Max Chemistry, wow, what a card you've got. Like I said, a lengthy CDM, max upgrade as well, 87 rated. You know, absolute beast. Sadly, like I said, trying to link players in with a weaker nation this year just doesn't really work too much on FIFA. So, like I said... 9 out of 10 for me, and he also has the average body type in game, which you wouldn't have realized anyway. That's how much of a beast this guy is in game. So, 9 out of 10. And if you want cars like Zambo and Guisa in your team, join my disc group. What traders in there making hundreds of thousands of coins every single week, and it's free to join. So, go and check it out, guys, and we'll see you in the next video.